what is going on guys and welcome to a unboxing slash review of this the geotech sc3 wireless pro gamepad roll the credits so welcome back and what we have here is a nice little gamepad uh, and we're just going to take you through some of the stuff on the box to start with uh, so we've got rumble triggers customizable fascias uh, different thumbsticks an led strip angled action buttons programmable back buttons and an easy access volume control so what does the actual controller look like well i've been playing with it for a little while and here it is there it is in all it's wonderful glory and there we go there's a nice little tour around the controller for you so it's USB-C charging it's also wireless um, or wired however you want to use it now I've been enjoying using this just on games like Rocket League on the PC FIFA and things like that this one is uh, compatible with PS4, PC, and your mobile through Bluetooth. And uh, it's flashing. Synced up to my PlayStation 4. My PlayStation 4 is just beeped. This will switch on. It'll connect. And it'll give you a nice little blue color. That is programmable. With a nice little touch of the back button there, you can change those colors to your heart's content. I believe there is also a wave where it will go through all of the colors available, which is good fun if you enjoy that. So you've got four face buttons, you've got two thumbsticks, you've got a touchpad in the middle as well. And you've got these two programmable buttons in the back that you can program to be any face controller or what have you. And this camera needs to sort itself out. So let me lean forward slightly for you. What comes in the box? Well, you get some extra thumbsticks, different heights, because these ones, boop, you can pull off and attach the new ones to it. It's good depending on what kind of games you play. Um, the theory is, is if you play a lot of first person shooters, you're gonna want the taller sticks. Let me just get some of the taller sticks out for you to see. <laughs> so, I'm going to hold two of the, them together and you can see there is a gap there and then if I bring this one in that's an even smaller one so the higher you go the the the, the theory is that the, the the higher taller your thumbstick stalk the less action you've got to do to move certain way distances the more precise action you get and the more precise you can be because it is fully customizable, you get a little screwdriver, goes into these screws here, um, and it allows you to take those face plates off. When it comes out of the box, it's got its white equivalent on. Now, I'm not going to take it all apart because it does take a little while, and it is kind of flimsy. This has got a nice kind of hexagon pattern. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick that up properly, but it does have a nice little pattern to it. And you get your three, pa your three panels for this, so you can change it to any way you like. Using this controller is, a, is, is all right. I mean, it's no official controller by Xbox or PlayStation or anything like that. But if you're looking for an affordable alternative to the uh, standard controller, then this controller by Geotech is fantastic. How much is it? you ask well as always we like to be up on the uh, case of information as we go out live and so this video is recorded uh, on the 14th of june and currently this controller on amazon so you know be up what it may the rrp is 59.99 which i don't think is too bad on amazon i can get it delivered today by seven o'clock if i order within the next 10 minutes but i don't need to so for £60, you're getting a decent wireless controller with these two extra buttons. Now, I know a lot of the other alternatives, Scuff uh, and other ones, Hex Gaming, 
They usually come with four back buttons, so you can have different things. So you don't actually ever have to take your thumbsticks off. Two back buttons was good. I, I've used scuff controllers. I've used all different types of custom controllers. And sometimes you get a little bit confusing as to what you've paired to where. These are pretty good because you can just pair one. If you're playing a first person shooter, you can pair one of these buttons to uh, jump and one of them to say pick up or reload. Just so that you don't have to take your thumb stick, your thumbs off the sticks for so long. Size wise, now I've got big old hands. This fits okay. Uh, as you can see, my thumbs do overlap the thumbsticks, but if I get a DualSense controller, you see it's the same on that. And if I get an Xbox controller, you can see it's the same on that. So generally, this is a good sized controller for anyone with any size hands who wants to play video games uh, to a good standard. Now, I can't really think of any negatives to do with it. It does feel a little bit, um, I'm going to say less premium than uh, than tacky because, you know, it is it is plastic and it is there is only so much you can do with plastic, but it is textured. It does give you a good feel in the hand. Um, what else is there? Nothing really much more to say. So would I recommend this controller to someone looking for an alternative to a standard controller? Why not? Give it a go. If you're looking for something a bit different, give it a go. You can customize the back buttons on the fly. Not really sure what that little screw bit is for there, but well, someone will find out. You can plug your 3.5 mil headphone jack into the bottom there as well, if that camera will focus. There we go. And then next to that, you've got your uh, volume controls for handling the inline volume of, of you know, whatever you've got connected to it so all in all it's a pretty good controller uh, I've enjoyed using it I probably will still use it on and off with different games and things like that it's also a good controller to have on a rotation with your official controllers so that said this has been the Geotech SC3 wireless pro gamepad and we'll see you again soon Take care.